Hello everyone, welcome to the Sim Hangar. My name's Mark. Thanks for watching and let's get started. For most of us, the world is filled with sound, and that sound very often can have an emotive impact on us. For example, a song can make you happy, or perhaps it makes you sad. Within Microsoft Flight Simulator, there's a fairly deep and extensive soundscape. I'm not talking about the various sound settings, which are fairly comprehensive in themselves, and we won't be looking at those today, but more about the sound of the roar of the engines or the wind rushing over the airframe. So my question to you today is about the quality of the sound within the sim and your experience, or have you made compromises in that regard? We all know what the buying journey is like. We've bought a PC. Now we need to upgrade a graphics card or maybe some memory. We need to get some peripherals, a joystick, yoke, or perhaps even rudder pedals. And for VR pilots, well, there's the added expense of the VR headset itself. And by the time we're there, well, our wallet has taken quite a hammering. And it's time for compromises, perhaps, and we tend to compromise just where we shouldn't. And that's in the area of sound. We buy the cheapest set of speakers we can find, and a very, very inexpensive and substandard set of headphones. So the message I'm giving today is a fairly straightforward and simple one. Invest a bit of time and money and get yourself a good pair of speakers or a great headset with a good microphone. And the reason I mention microphone is the amount of voice interactivity within the sim continues to grow. We've got AI co-pilots that'll carry out actions based on your voice commands. We've got the online services such as VATSIM, Pilot Edge, IVAO, and so on. And we've also got an explosion in flying with friends via the multiplayer function. Same as the rest of us. Go seeing, nice. You need to stop, mate. <laughs> we've, we've gone for the shop, uh, sky tricks. Mayhem showing us how it's done. What I won't be doing today is recommending a set of speakers or headphones or headsets. There's a ton of reviews on YouTube and online by people far better qualified to do that than I am. But the one area that I do want to touch on is those that have already invested in a high quality set of studio headphones and very often they don't come with mics or those with VR headsets where either the sound or in particular the mic is poor quality and Vive Pro and Vive Pro 2 headsets spring to mind as well as the Vajo Aero. Vajo does have the sound, it's got the ear pods with the inline mic, but it really doesn't do Microsoft Flight Simulator any justice. And I want to talk about a product that I first heard about, oh, I guess about a year ago from Steve, VR Flight Sim Guy. I'll leave a link to his channel below. And that is ModMic. And what's unique about this is it's a wireless microphone that you can use on multiple different devices. So if you've got a set of real high quality headphones, well, you can attach the mic to it, which is what I'm doing now. And I'm actually recording this whole video on it. Or if you've got a VR headset or something of that nature, well, There it is. It's that easily swappable, held by a magnet. Let's take a look at some of the detail for this unique product. Setting this mic up couldn't be easier. There's no software, no drivers. It comes in a handy hard case. It's no bigger than it needs to be. And it's a studio quality microphone. That's what sets the mod mic apart from similar products. You get the mic itself. It's got a pop filter on the one end has a rechargeable battery inside. The large button on the battery case does on off and mute as well. It comes with a separate cable for charging and can charge via any USB port. The mic itself is surprisingly light. It's recommended to mount on the right hand side, but you can mount it on the left hand side exactly as I have done. And it's held in place by a magnet. We'll have a look at that just now. I'm now powering it on. Because these lights would be on the side of your headset, 
the USB receiver which can be plugged directly into your PC or as I have it here with the supplied extension cable can be placed anywhere on your desktop so you have visibility in terms of the mode that it's on. The red light that came on just now, well, that was mute. Attaching the mic to your chosen device is straightforward and is done by the magnet. It's a very powerful magnet, it's going to hold it in place no problem at all. You get two magnet attachment pieces and more can be purchased separately. ModMic is owned by Antlion, a company well respected in the audio world. They've been around quite a long time and well established. This gives you an idea of just how firmly attached and how strong that magnet is. You can get further details from the ModMic website, I'll leave a link in the notes below. And touching now quickly on specifications and price. List price currently is just under £140. If you are interested, I'd encourage you to shop around. This product is sold by the bigger retailers and often you can get a deal. It's Linux, Windows and Mac compatible as well as compatible with the PS4. It's not officially compatible with the Xbox. There is a workaround but it's cumbersome and not really practical. If you need this degree of versatility it's value for money and of course it comes with full instructions. They also have a Discord where they help solve problems live. I had no problems with latency. They say on a full charge the battery is going to last about 12 hours. Personally I've had this in use for I'm going to guess between 5 and 6 hours so far and no problems so I don't doubt that statement. A big advantage for both laptop and VR users of course, you don't have to fight with another cable. That in itself is a godsend. If you've noticed some changing volume during the video and some thumps and clunks, my apologies for that as I've been testing and experimenting as I go. This whole video has been recorded using the mod mic. For the ease of setup, range of functions and adaptability, bearing in mind its ease of setup, and use, I think the mod mic is a good product overall. It won't appeal to everybody, but if you're one of those that just needs a better microphone, add it to a headset or a VR headset, then the mod mic is a solution worth exploring, and in that use case is certainly recommended by me. To be honest, the only negative comment I've got is that whilst it's held firmly in place by the magnet, there is a bit of movement in the boom arm. It's not a lot, but it's there. But for day-to-day -day use, well, no problems. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found this useful and informative. Stay well, look after yourselves. I'll see you again soon. And bye for now.